You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another thought provoking episode of Ask Drone You. Growing as always, <laughs> my name is Paul. And my name's Rob, um, growing as well. I hope the growing process never stops actually, right? Sort of the idea, always learning, always getting better, always being thankful for the progress that has been made. True. Looking back and celebrating the victories, learning from the defeats. It's all part of growing. I don't know why we're starting the podcast off this way, but I like it. Either way, there's a lot to learn about. There's a lot to grow. And in this industry, things are always moving so fast. It's often hard to understand if you are ahead of the curve or behind the curve. But in today's show, we're going to be talking about the launch of the new Phantom. As one particular pilot is wondering... Well, should I get rid of my Phantom 4 Pro to get one of these new Phantoms? Is it really that different? Um, And to clarify, his question is about the Phantom 4 Pro versus the Phantom 4 Pro version 2, the new one. Remember, there was the Phantom 4 Pro version 2, like as of like a year and a half ago, and then they stopped production and they brought it back and everyone seems to have forgotten that there was already a version 2. Anyway, (laughs) so... Um, So with that, we're going to be talking about uh, when it comes to your drone business. Um, And this also actually reminds me, Rob, that uh, I need to be creating or finishing up my uh, drone fleet video and also my video about the Phantom. But I'm excited today because we get to talk about what those differences are and break down uh, what's the right move for your business. But before we get into that, uh, I do want to just say there are two big time trainings coming up for Drone You. Uh, trainings that are really going to push you to be, a, if you're an intermediate pilot, you're going to learn from this. If you're a basic pilot, well, you're going to learn re- a lot. Um, but what uh, two trainings am I talking about? The Advanced Videography and Subject Tracking Training, which will be in Austin, Texas, March 6th through 8th. We've got a mapping boot camp coming up on the 13th to the 15th of March in Dallas. And we've got our fly-in. The drone conference from Drone U is back April 4th and 5th. You really don't want to miss that. It's in an exclusive location where Netflix sets uh, will be live, actually filming a movie, and you will be flying around that and mapping it yourself. This challenge-based conference does what no other conference in the drone industry has done, which is make an entire conference on flight missions. We are pilots, so shouldn't we be outside? So join a drone conference that's actually going to push you to develop your skills, the things that are actually going to, well, pay the bills. Join us, DroneUFlyIn.com. I promise you will regret if you don't go. (laughs) Like, seriously. And signups have really picked up over the last week or so, yeah. So Wow. We uh, As it's getting closer, we're under two months now. And so Why don't you start the day with these good bits of information. <laughs> you know, like, hey, good morning, Paul. Sales are up today. Oh, <laughs> hey, awesome. Hey, because uh, the last I, couple uh, months it's like, hey, good morning. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, depends. I added the farting sound. It depends okay. on what you're talking about. <laughs> so, even Alyssa is like, hi. I'm like. What happened to the fervor? And I realized that like, I, I am the cause of the fervor in the office. Hmm. So if I want fervor, I have to cause the fervor. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Join the fervor, droneuflying.com. Bring the bang or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, gentlemen. Excellent job on the podcast. I listen to it every day on my way to work, and it makes my hour-long commute to work every day much more pleasant. My question is about the Phantom 4. I currently own a Phantom 4 Pro, and I'm thinking about upgrading to the Phantom 4 version 2.0 since DJI brought it back into production. Is there any feature sets that the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0 has over the Phantom 4 Pro? I know that it has OcuSync, but is there anything else that is worth upgrading? And in your opinion, is it worth selling my regular Phantom 4 Pro to upgrade to the version 2.0. Thanks for all you guys do. I haven't gotten better information anywhere else on the internet. Wow. That was nice. Thank you. 
thank you so much. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for spending your days with us, your commutes with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for taking a few minutes to call your question in. Um, it means a lot. We uh, obviously can't have a podcast doing this without you doing that. So thank you very much. And uh, the Phantom 4 Pro versus the version 2 version. Well, just to clarify again, I think his question is asking specifically about the Phantom 4 Pro, the first version, not the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 that debuted about a year and a half, two years ago. I agree. Um, and all in regards to the newest, ver- so he wants to compare the oldest Phantom 4 Pro against the newest Phantom 4 Pro, the one that just came out. Um, Even though it's the, it's just the re-release. It is just the yes. re-release, yes. And uh, the Phantom I 4 agree. Pro version 2 that you guys were previously aware of is exactly the same as the new Phantom 4 Pro version 2 that just came out. But that doesn't answer his question. His question is, what's the difference between the Phantom 4 Pro, the old one, and this new one? Um, other than OcuSync 2.0 and a couple Intelligent Flight features... I know the color science changed just slightly on the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 to add a little bit more pop into the imagery. Um, but other than that, I'm not really sure that there is too much difference without researching. Let me answer this question, though, Rob, in a more practical uh, frame of mind. Is it going to affect my ability to go out and do any of my jobs by having the newer version versus the older version, no, it's not going to affect your ability to do the job at all. Now, let's bring Rob into this conversation because oftentimes he's staring off to the distance of his computer. Um, and let's bring up a finance-based question. Um, so I know Phantom 4 Pros are about are selling for about a grand, used ones. The new ones are about 1800 uh, give or take, depending on where you buy them, anywhere from, I just looked up, 1600 to uh, 2199 if you get the Phantom 4 Pro Plus, which, Rob, do we recommend to any of our listeners or <laughs> students to buy the Phantom 4 Pro or Phantom 4 Pro version 2 Plus? Uh, up to this point, no, we have not. Yes, no. that is correct. We no. do not recommend that you buy that drone because it has a built-in screen that does not allow for many third-party applications. Okay, so new drones, 1800 You could sell the old one for 1000 Amortization does it make sense for my small business, Rob? No. Okay, cool. Well, glad we got that that out of the way. <laughs> glad I can contribute. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my computer okay. now. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for chiming in, Rob. <laughs> no, no. In all seriousness, I've not heard any compelling evidence as to why I would spend the extra money when I have something that is working perfectly fine. But now, again, but but help me understand why I might. Well, you know, in in regards to you know you know building a drone program, you you do have to have an end of life for these things, and I have found that Phantoms can typically fly to about fifteen hundred hours. This is but very speculative and empirical, um, but we have so many Phantoms now. We've blasted through four P twos, multiple P threes. We have we tip we own five of these right now. And this, I mean, this is the Toyota Camry of the drone industry. And but it's like, it's, it's, yeah, because Toyota Camrys, I, it's funny when, when you think of that, I, when Honda you say Civic? that, no, I think of like sort of the, uh, he's mad I didn't say Honda Civic because this guy bought a Honda Civic. The older generation gets sort of the no frills version, but they actually have a pretty nice solid frills. Is that a thing? Version of the Camry. Sporty. Oh, Rob. (laughs) Please don't be like many of the baby boomers and think that the sporty commercials of the Toyota Camry (laughs) are actually going to equate to having a fast car, as I may or may not have dusted multiple geriatrics (laughs) trying to challenge me in the expedition. Oh, gosh. I wasn't going there at all. Well, you know who you're talking to. So what what surprise is this? What about the sensors? Is there a reason why you might step it up because of the sensor, or are they essentially the same? So I actually have, this is a good question, but if we frame it a little different way, I haven't seen any new Phantom 4 Advanced version 2s coming back, and frankly, I think that is, yeah, these are all pros. So there's no more advanced. So literally, the most, dude, you should thank me right now. Okay. Thank you, Paul. (laughs) 
<laughs> because I bought, if you remember, when I was in New York City in August, I bought I the very last P4 Advance I know. that all of DJI had access to. You hopped on it, yep. And I was like, even if it does have a bad battery, give me that damn thing. <laughs> so the Phantom 4 Advance was the most valuable drone for the money. Um, no, it did not have side obstacle avoidance. It did not have rear obstacle avoidance. But... If you were a pilot who practices the habits and routines that we teach at Flight Mastery, that really wouldn't matter for you. Um, so it was the most valuable drone dollar for dollar. And in regards to your question about the sensors from his P4 Pro to the version 2, the answer is no. The sensors are not very different at all. But it does bring up the question, if uh, DJI brought back the Phantom 4 Pro version 2, but not the advanced version 2, maybe it's because they got smart and realized that they were losing some money on the advance because all the smart people had figured out that that's the most valuable tool in the industry. I mean, for $1,100, you can do everything from take pretty pictures to survey a damn house. And really the only difference was the sense of the uh, avoidance, the that's obstacle it. avoidance. That, that, that was it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's a very nice profit margin addition by DJI <laughs> to put these things and then charge $500 more if it's really that simple. Or whatever the yeah, additional I mean, price was. I don't remember exactly. I wish they would. I hope the P5 has like a pro edition where there's like no sensors on it. Yeah. Like it's like a true, it's like the Marlboro Man's ed edition of a drone. So if you have that, you're probably going to, I mean, can you turn that off? You can turn that off, mm -hmm. right? So you're yeah. probably just going to turn it off oftentimes I pretty, pretty anyways. I pretty much do it anyway. Because you need for, I don't know, if you're mapping and you need to do some free flights and you need to get close. You don't want that thing getting in the way. You don't want that. No, you don't. It's pretty annoying. One thing I will say, though, about the Phantom, whether it's the Advance, I, whether it's the Pro, whether mm -hmm. it's the V2, we're still talking about them all these years later. This is true. That's pretty cool. By the way, uh, another good little tip, trick, and hack from Drone U. If you have a pestering, uh, angry neighbor who is mm. trying to ask you a bunch of questions while you are flying... Why don't you just go ahead and turn on the display radar chart for the uh, obstacle avoidance and just park the drone next to a tree so it keeps beeping so those people will just walk away. Because it is really annoying for the beep, 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 beep. But that might be a good hidden strategy to get those really annoying people to leave you alone. <laughs> Although I don't have a problem with that. I can be very, very blunt with people to a way that literally makes people turn off like they don't want to ask me any more questions. Is that is that surprising to any of you? <laughs> That's... You know, the, the awful uh, part is that, like, in my own mind, I feel like I only turn that on when people are asking me annoying questions after I've nicely asked them. I can't respond to them. You know, I, what, I, what I love, though, is like that, that you, line say, gets blurred. you say, I can be blunt, right? Like, it's a revelation. That's like me saying, I can be bald. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we have uh, run the, the course yeah, for this Yeah, we're going show. downhill fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, thank you for everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for sending in your questions. Thank whether you. it's about drone business or drone issues that you're having or equipment, or maybe it's because you're thinking about building a drone program. Well, if you're building a drone program, you're going to love what Drone You has coming out here very shortly. But in other news, we do a appreciate the fact that you support us, you share the show, you leave a review, uh, you become a member, you join us for a class, because we genuinely want to give you the best information possible. And since we've been training people for about eight years now, eight years, no, six years, six years, six years, Rob, six years now, just throw up that five again. <laughs> I threw up a one. I threw up a one when he threw up a five. <laughs> anyway, six years now, I feel like we're in a really good position um, to give people extremely accurate information to make them fly better, to lower their learning curve, to give them confidence, not overconfidence, and teach them standards that build habits and routines for future success for life. And we do it because we genuinely enjoy it. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Love seeing our... Uh... Members, um, alumni, whatever you want to call them, having success. By the way, if you're one of those, share share your stories with us. It really is meaningful to us. It matters, and we uh, love hearing any bit of success. Don't think it's too small. It's not. We want to hear about it. Seriously, Couldn't please. Agree more. On that bombshell, that is going to do it for us today. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you for leaving a review, and thank you for becoming a Drone You member. All right, that's going to do it. Bye-bye.